All right, I hate to do this, but I gotta go on a little rant. Here's what boggles my mind. You come and watch these videos, you read the books, and what are you seeking? What you're seeking is shortcuts. Everyone's asking for, give me the hack, give me the shortcut. Let me ask you this. Do you think Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods or Mozart or Beethoven or any of the other incredibly gifted and talented people looked for shortcuts? No, and you know why? Because shortcuts don't lead to success. Mastery leads to success. The one's willingness to go through the process of mastery is what leads to success. I read recently a book called The Talent Code, and in The Talent Code, it talks about something called myelin. Myelin is a sheath that basically wraps around your neurons. And the more you do something, the more of this myelin gets wrapped around. Now, the more myelin gets wrapped around, the neuron will actually fire, get this, up to 3,000 times faster. So the idea that you can shortcut your way into a healthy body, that you can shortcut your way into a successful business or shortcut your way into a relationship is crazy. Mastery takes time. Anything you learn takes time. Have you ever picked up anything and instantly been incredible at it? Doubtful. Mastery is something that we get to invest in. And in that book, he shared something so profound that I, I would love to share with you. And that's this. They did a study of people and they were trying to figure out what is the most effective time that someone should practice. So they did long, short, medium, right? 20 minutes a week, 60 minutes a week, 90 minutes a week were the times. But before someone ever approached an instrument or a sport or anything, they asked them, how long are you going to practice this? How long are you going to play the instrument or play the sport? And the answers were through the end of this year, till I'm done with school, or for lifetime. And when someone said that they were gonna practice this thing for a lifetime, even before they ever began the task, they have found that those people, regardless of how much practice they put in, were four times more effective at whatever it is they did, whether it was an instrument or sport. The notion that we look for shortcuts, the notion that we want that magical silver bullet thing to get us to the other side where all these people are achieving success is nonsense. Look for ways to create mastery. Understand that mastery takes time. You're not gonna read a book and all of a sudden be the world's greatest author. You're not gonna read a book and all of a sudden create a billion dollar company. That all takes mastery. Give yourself the patience. Give yourself the time to express your own mastery in the world. Mastery is what you're seeking. And if you're out there seeking hacks and shortcuts, good luck. How's that working for you? So I'm sick and tired of people constantly asking me, how do I shortcut this? And how do I hack that? Why didn't you just ask, how do I master that? What are the things that I need to do now in order to five or 10 years from now be a master at this? 10,000 hours can't be curtailed into 10 hours no matter how you slice it. Practice is what creates that myelin in our brain. Practice is what creates your level of mastery and practice is what's gonna get you to the thing that you most want. So I'm sorry I'm not sorry. Just had to get it off my chest. Pursue mastery, not shortcuts.